Dear students, uh, welcome back to Sachin Biology classes. Uh, today we are uh, discussing a new chapter called on human reproduction. And in this session, uh, we are going to discuss in detail about a uh, male reproductive system. First of all, uh, what is reproduction? Reproduction is nothing but is the production of young ones by an organism. And even the humans are called a sexually reproducing organism and are also called as a viviparous organism. And then, the any animals which directly give birth to their young ones, it is nothing but a viviparous. And then, human reproduction is now majorly two types of systems. One is a female reproductive system and another one is a male reproductive system. So, but uh, in today's session, we are discussing in detail about that uh, uh, human uh, male reproductive system. The human male reproductive system which is consisting of what then? It is consisting of external genitalia called penis and accessory glands, accessory ducts and a pair of testes. And as we know that the external genitalia penis is a copulatory organ which is made of a special a spongy tissues called a corpora cavernosum and corpus spongiosum are the two important tissues is present in penis. And we are next uh, studying about an accessory glands. The accessory glands which is consisting of uh, a prostate gland, seminal vesicle and corpus gland and another name for this corpus gland is a bulbo urethral gland. And which are those the accessory ducts? Rita testis, vas afferentia, epididomis and vas deferens are four important accessory ducts we are studying here. And next one is that a paired testis. And here we discussing in general about the structure and anatomy of the testis. In general, uh, the testes are considered as a primary sex organs in the karate. Why we are calling as a primary sex organs? Because they produce uh, sperms and also a male uh, hormone that is called a testosterone in the karate. The testosterone is a uh, very important uh, to maintain a secondary sexual characteristics in male. So collectively we can call as a testosterone hormone in the karate. They are nothing but androgens. And soon after the birth or the eighth month of pregnancy, they descend into the scrotum. Illi, scrotum is a sac like structure which is located below the abdominal cavity. And the scrotum, which is having a testis, and these testes at the eighth month of pregnancy, where within the baby the testes are located in the lower abdominal cavity and they are descend into a scrap scrotum through by inguinal canal anta karithiru inguinal canal mulaka enagutade lower abdominal part alli irthakkanta testes gudu descend aagutte illi scrotum alli and even the scrotum it maintains a, a low temperature 2 to 2.5 degrees Celsius than that of body temperature. And the other is 37 degrees Celsius is the normal body temperature. Other kinta kadime and the other degree Celsius temperature test is only kadame. The scrotum it maintains because it is very essential for spermatogenesis process. Sperm production nagadukke bala essential environment. When the temperature is just there is a chance of destroying the sperms within a testis. And let us discuss in detail about the longitudinal section of testis what it explains. And here the many questions will be framed for one mark. Uh, in general, testis 4 to 5 cm length and 2 to 3 cm width. General oval in shape is the testis. Now, the longitudinal section is the testis. The longitudinal section it shows a compartments or lobules. And how many lobules will be present in each testis? Then 200 to 250 testicular lobules are present in each testis. Okay? And these testicular lobules are consisting of what? 1, 2, 2, 3. And the highly coiled seminiferous tubules. 
okay and uh, seminiferous tubules is lined internally with a spermatogenic cells at the correct spermatogenic cells are nothing but the spermatogonia or male germ cells and sertoli cells are called supporting cells at the correct and the wall of the seminiferous tubules are associated with the spermatogonia or germ cells at the correct and these germ cells are produced by mitotic division and they are in diploid condition alli irutta and when they how to produce sperms male gametes in produce madbekagidre these spermatogonia undergo meiosis to produce a haploid male gamete called a spermatozoa or sperm santa karite and where the sertoli cells that are present along with these seminiferous tubules and they helps to nourishment of developing sperms okay here we are studying the a cross section of seminiferous tubules even when we take a transverse section of the testes we can see uh, hundreds of uh, seminiferous tubules that are present and here we are magnifying uh, the image you can see the diagram which is there in your textbook and this is what the uh, seminiferous tubules you can see is a magnifying image of the ts of testes and ts of testes it shows hundreds of seminiferous tubules and the seminiferous tubules jothege andre adara madhyadalli you can see the seminiferous tubules 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total 7 seminiferous tubules galanna neevu nodabodu a seminiferous tubules gal madhyadalli one red colored mark ida the regions outside the seminiferous tubules it is called interstitial spaces anta karithivi it is containing what andre seminiferous tubules gala yen circle shape alli ide adara paragina bhagadalli adha avugala madhyada bhagadalli andre seminiferous tubules gala madhya bhagadalli not within the seminiferous so outside the seminiferous tubules bhagadalli yen irutade small blood vessels irutte interstitial cells or leddic cells irutte immunologically competent cells gal irutte and where uh, the blood vessels uh, supplies the blood and where interstitial cells or leddic cells are meant here to secrete a testicular hormones called an androgen anta karithivi so the male sex hormone and uh, here you can see the complete uh, explanation a uh, part of a seminiferous tubule and you can see in this diagram where a, you can see the section of a seminiferous tubule can be seen in cross section of seminiferous tubule anta bartidar nodre alle enagutte testicular lobules alli irthakkanta one seminiferous tubule anna cut madadaga cross section alli now cross section of seminiferous tubule anna ee rithi nodabodu idanne naavu innu magnify madadaga yenanna nodabodu illi the wall of seminiferous tubules already i told you they are associated with the spermatogonial cells or a germinal cells they are in diploid condition anta helutte and those diploid cells enagutte undergo meiosis to produce a haploid gametes okay here you can see where the germinal cell uh, it is undergo a meiosis so there is nothing but a primary spermatocyte secondary spermatocyte and spermatids and spermatozoa it produces here uh, we are studying about an accessory ducts and what are these accessory ducts you can see the rete testes vas afferentia epididymis and vas deferens are and considered as accessory ducts and uh, what is actually the rete testes rete testes is nothing but a network of seminiferous tubules it is nothing but rete testes anta karithivi ee diagram alli ನೀವು ನೀಟಾಗಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ರಿಟೇ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಸ್ಟೀನಮ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಲ್ವಾ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಟೇ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ದೆ ಎ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಮಿನಿಫರಸ್ ಟಿಬ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ರಿಟೇ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇರ್ರೆಗ
and medias tenum is nothing but a, a white fibrous connective tissue which is uh, extends from lower higher to a lower part of the testis means posterior and next you can see that vas afferentia what is vas afferentia where the retail testis opens into a vas afferentia to carry sperms and epididymis the connective part of vas afferentia vas afferentia is connected to epididymis epididymis which is uh, present or located on posterior surface of the testis and uh, which is uh, made for a temporary storage of sperms e epididymis en maduthadappa andra temporary age sperms galanna store maadi ittkondirthade and uh, later part alli enagutade those sperms that are moved to the ejaculatory duct to store that okay alli ejaculatory duct alli enagutade hogi matte store aagutade at the time of copulation enagutade the sperms are released okay and next one is that vas deferens vas deferens is a elongated tubular structure which is connected to a urethra and here we are studying that accessory ducts how they actually helps to the conduction of sperms through a ducts illi sequence age ni observe madabodu seminiferous tubules in the retate testis retate testis in the vas afferentia vas afferentia in the epididymis epididymis in the vas deferens vas deferens in the common ejaculatory duct common ejaculatory duct in the urethra urethra in the urethral meatus andre this is the way actually the sperms passes elli formation agutte sperms seminiferous tubules olagade formation agutte allinda next sequence agi ee riti pass aagta barutte final agi urethral meatus mulaka release agutte okay and uh, here you can uh, observe that uh, all this uh, uh, accessory uh, ducts which i have ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಆರ್ ಹೆರಾರ್ಕಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಈ ಅಕ್ಸೆಸರಿ ಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನೀಟಾಗಿ ಈ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ದ ಯುರೆತ್ರ ರಿಸೀವ್ಸ್ ದ ಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಪರ್ಸ್ ಗ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಎಪ್ಪನೀಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅನ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಸರಿ ಗ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅಕ್ಸೆಸರಿ ಗ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಎ ಪೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಮೈನಲ್ ವೆಸಿಕಲ್ a prostate gland a pair of corpus gland it is also called as a bulbo urethral gland anta karithivi their collective secretion is called as seminal plasma or seminal fluid anta nu karithivi and it is rich in a fructose calcium and enzymes and what exactly the function of seminal plasma then the seminal plasma that helps to the transportation of the sperms and also supplies the nutrients to the sperms and provide alkalinity to counteract the acidity of uterus after copulation the uterus where it receives the gametes which is having acidic nature and to avoid this acidic nature the plasma itself having a neutralized that acidic condition okay otherwise enak bidutade adu neutralize madade idre acidic condition anna the sperms will die in the uterus itself there is no chance of getting pregnancy alva so that is the reason and the secretion of corpus gland i lubricate the penis and uh, at the time of copulation uh, milky fluid which is uh, producing uh, that is nothing but a part of semen anta karithe vadannu and uh, that is produced by a corpus gland which helps in the lubrication and secretion of epididymis vas deferens seminal vesical and prostate help for maturation and a motility of sperms and uh, the last part of the male reproductive system we are studying here that is the penis called an external genitalia and the carithe it is a copulatory organ and it is made up of a special erectile spongy tissue and <coughs> that is nothing but a corpora cavernosum and corpus spongiosum are the two important tissues can be seen along with this tissues there is a blood vessels to supply the blood when spongy tissue is filled with the blood the penis erects it facilitates the insemination during the copulation what it will do the penis it will releases the 
sperms or semen into the female genital tract so until and unless the erection of penis unless erection of penis it do not inseminate the gametes or the sperm and the cone shaped tip of the penis is called glans penis and the karitivi and it is covered by a loose folded skin that is called a foreskin and the karitivi and it is also called as a prepuce and the no karitivi and you can see uh, the structure of penis where the structure of penis which is uh, a consisting of the two uh, tissues which i told you that uh, corpora cavernosum and uh, corpus uh, spongiosum these two tissues you can see and along with this the diagram it also shows that how actually the blood vessels they are connected to a penis that's it uh, i'm stopping uh, the session today here and uh, we can discuss the new concept in next session until that take care and always you keep remember study for knowledge not for marks until that bye take care